Before Deadman even came out, I made a very ambitious goal to get myself rank 1 points. However, even after a week in, I was nowhere to be seen on the high scores. This was intentional. Before the game mode came out, Jagex released a news post going over how the point system would work. My conclusion from this information was that relative to breaches, stats, quests, diary completions gave relatively little points. The only thing we didn't know at this point was how many points each individual boss was going to give and which one was going to be worth doing. The first kill of each boss gives a large point boost and then the next 99 give full points and all future kills after that give half the points that they're assigned. Meaning that if the points for a boss were imbalanced enough, it could be worth killing them past 100 over doing anything else. So on the first day of launch, one of the first things I did was look at the points points rewarded to each boss after you kill them and determined which bosses were imbalanced for points. It did not take long before I noticed how broken Scorpio's points were compared to the rest. With players in the main game being able to get over 100 kills per hour, it would mean a farmable 1000 points per hour past 100 KC. For comparison, JCW, who was the first person to max on Deadman, took over 10 days to do so, and he barely got over 18,000 points, equivalent to less than a day of Scorpio. So it became pretty obvious early on that spamming Scorpio would be the strat that I needed to do to win. So why didn't I do it from the start? One reason. Combat level brackets. I intentionally sat in the lower 71 to 90 bracket for over half the event, purposefully doing things that I knew were inefficient, such as questing and skilling, to keep myself off the high scores race radar. I only try to maximize points during breaches since they were a fixed limited amount per the entire event, so I wanted to make sure to get as much as I could there. Generally speaking, when there's a high score competition, people tend to look at people who are higher ranked than them and just copy what they're doing. Had I gone to Scorpio the first few days and gotten a really high rank early on, people would have simply copied me and realized how overpowered it was and it would have led to higher competition and it would not have given me any advantage so by staying under the radar for as long as i could i waited until 49 of the top 50 were in the 111 bracket the only person in the top 50 not in the 111 bracket was me and because you cannot move down combat brackets that means they would have to fight each other for control of scorpia in that 111 bracket in order to copy my strategy making it nowhere near as good so once the timing was right and all my competitors were in the same bracket it was time to execute my master plan all right it's currently 12 p.m september 1st on a friday and i'm gonna go ahead and try my luck with this strat i'm gonna go ahead and go to the aussie world that is probably the best odds uh as you can see this is gonna be my return set i have elite void which is parchmented which is actually pretty decent defense it has a lot of mage defense i think that's probably the most useful thing because as soon as i get to single i'll probably survive uh, because i have a uh, lock pick i have coins and i have seeds as well so that's my plan i'm using a guardian angel which is my biggest risk it's around 10 mil right now since the ninja obviously just for the increased dps plus four and then menacing mage which is going to be my sustain so i shouldn't need food and yeah what's my prayer bonus in this it should be like plus 10 i think and hopefully this goes well if this goes well i'm gonna be so far ahead not gonna lie all right let's see how this is like hopefully menacing mage is gonna holy fuck all right yeah i think this is okay how many points am i at right now 65 oh come on put something like that with dps at 65 387 and and 65 815 that's not bad that's not fucking bad mm, it's not always the out dps in the thing so i actually have to put some effort in i guess it's a little bit more annoying than i thought if i have to actually freeze it but it's still gonna be good like this healing is insane and this should be 20 points every time insane <laughs> it's fucking insane okay i think i'm gonna bring torment occult i know it's a lot more risk but fuck me i think it would make a, such a big difference if i could actually just uh kill it before it heals well kill it through the healers that would make such a big dps increase first chaos le kill Alright, uh, that should be a decent bit of points. Six, five, eight, three, three, five, one, seven, one. Yo, that's so much, bro. That's so fucking many points, bro. Very nice. Bro, 25 Scorpio KC already, bro. This shit's so fucking broken and fast, man. Bro, just for context, that's 500 points already. And uh, even after the 100 KC, that would be 250 points. It was just fucking insane. What are these guys thinking, bro? Bro, he's cooked. Good fight. All right, we got some keys. Oh, that's Herblower supplies. Let's fucking go. Bro, these are my first keys. They're pathetic as fuck, but we take them. All right, I'm actually switching up the inventory to use an occult necklace because, man, it's too much of a DPS increase, bro. Look at that, bro. 26.5% versus 6.5%. Dude, that is worth it. It's 4 mil risk. I think it's fucking worth it. I'm not going to die that often. I have a GA risk anyway. Like, it's it's, got, it's nothing in the grand scheme of things, right? Fuck it. Okay, so I'm trying something a little different. I swapped out Menacing Mage because I don't really 
feel like I need the healing, although it does do some DPS. But I think this might be better. So there's a little preservation. It keeps my stats boosted and I saturate heart in the bank. And as long as I don't brew, I should be able to keep 112, which I think is really, really important for Shadow. I think it skills very heavily off your mage level and I've been sitting at 99 mage, which is not ideal. So let's try this out. All right, that was significantly better. Holy fuck, I hope I can do that every time. What the hell? Jeez. Okay, now nah, that was a one time go. I don't think I could do that every time. I was actually pretty lucky. Odium shard, let's go. I don't even think it's worth picking up, but I'll pick it up. All right, so the saturated heart effect went away and it took away the buff with it, even though I had preservation. So that's not viable. We, we don't do that. I guess I'll switch back to Menacing Mage now. Malediction shard three, 50 KC. I'm gonna call out every 100 KC, I think. This is too fast. All right, 100 Scorpia KC. That means every KC from now on will only give 10 points. That's fine, because that's still pretty fucking amazing points per hour. Still pretty good. I'm at 68,217 points now already. Okay, I'm gonna gear up for a breach right now, but man, I'm at 68,387 points already, bro. Quite fucking OP. Alright, that breach is over. I did it in the same world, so it's 69,801 points. I never logged, and I'm three hours into this log, and I have gained like 5,500 points. So, like, the next six hours is gonna be like a pretty big jump. It's gonna look like I got all of them for breaches, but obviously I didn't. Scorpio is the name of the game. I'm gonna stay here as long as I can. Digital Prosperity, I'm pretty sure that's worth a decent bit. Let me look this up. Damn, it's worth 11 mil, like 10.9 mil. It's actually really good. Very nice. It's like a GA right there. Maybe I should bank. Eh, nothing about it. Actually, I did hear that um, you don't lose sigils. We'll see how this goes. We are now at 70,000 points, man. 5,500 points since I last logged out. Quite OP. Of, of course, a lot of that was a breach, but still quite OP. All right, that is a 400 KC. Finish it off with an Odium Shard. And that is, uh, how many points are we at now? 72631. Not fucking bad. I believe if I refresh right now, I'll have 75,000 points. Yep, 75,000 points. Quite crazy. At this current point in time, I am rank 14. And rank 1 has 108,000 points. I just want that to be known for reference when I go uh, gain a bunch of points in the very, very near future. So quite literally, a 34,000 point gap between me and rank one all right and that is 500 kc 75,309 points that means i've gained what what is it 4,000 points from the 400 kc and as well as 2,000 points from the first kc so it's total of around 6,000 points but also the first kill was also 400 it's like 6,500 i've gotten a lot of fucking points from scorpion alkali and it's been very very quick this is amazing bro these guys are tanking I think I'm dead, yeah. All right, that's the first GA death there, which is not bad, bro. I don't lose much. I just have to buy another GA, which I have five of, and then repair this void, and I have to get another cult. That's probably the most expensive item I lose. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. All right, so it's currently September 2nd. 13 days left on the clock. 80,295 points, and we are currently at 552 Scorpia KC. All right, that is 600 Scorpia KC. We are at 80,785 points. Bro, I'm not going to even bother calling out these Odium Shards, to be honest. I got so many of them, they're kind of worthless. I got to destroy the market for Odium Shard 3s and Malediction 3s. All right, that's another return set down. Oh, well. It is September 3rd right now. I'm back at Scorpia. I took a little bit of a break from it after getting killed so many times with the same team. However, I think I could get away with at least like a six hour log without anyone catching on. I'm hoping so at least. 800 Scorpia Casey. All right, that is 900 Scorpia Casey. What are the points looking at? 93274. Not too shabby. And that is 1000 Scorpia kills. Many, many more to go. So at this point in time in the series, I had just gotten 74 Slayer, and that means I had gotten a decent bit of Slayer points as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Sigil of Slaughter, which allows me to pick a task, and I'm going to pick Scorpia tasks, and now get Slayer XP while killing Scorpia. And this is going to be my method to get 99 Slayer, or at least a very high Slayer level, before I finish it off somewhere else. 
Look, there's been 30 points. Yes, let's pick scorpions as soon as I can find them. There we go, scorpions. And now I have 65 scorpions to kill, aka 65 uh, scorpions. And what's nice is like I just unattune it right after, and now I have the ninja sigil again. So I don't really lose out on any sigils. And now my scorpio plan is in full, full effect. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport up to Anacol, one of my ults, just to check it out real quick before I tell you it myself. Okay, it looks clear. I'm gonna tell you up now. And uh, now, these other two accounts will just follow me. Now I have a squad for Scorpia. Now Scorpia is gonna be a complete freaking joke. Let me set my prayers on these other accounts real quick. It's a very interesting situation right now. Uh, gonna, it might take a little get used to with, with the ults, but I'll get there. I should be able to kill this before anything uh, bad happens. All right, so one of my ults is to kill, which is not ideal. So we're going to figure this part out. Okay, the counter set up. I hope, this, uh, I, hope I out DPS the things, otherwise this is really awkward. I think this is going to work. Looks like it's working. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I'm going to have my main account hit this first every time. That way I can just uh, be in full control. Bro, that is disgustingly fast. This is going to be so fucking fast oh man i'm gonna enjoy this maybe i'll dd the two other accounts so they're kind of just like chilling yeah i think this is a move all right well here comes the grind this is the fun part 75 slayer 1100 kc dude look at the kills per hour 124 kills per hour oh, what is that 1240 points an hour let's make it a little bit less for banking maybe like 100 let's reduce it by 10 let's say it's 1150 points per hour free slayer xp <sighs> just this idea was perfect. It was executed horribly, but it ended up working out all right. Everyone else is going around doing random tasks, doing GM tasks, CAs, who knows what. I'm so glad I did this strategy, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, everything is planning out exactly like I had hoped. As long as I don't get, like, camped or NS after people see my high score is jumping crazy, I think this is going to be, like, the legit ultimate strat. Like, I, I don't think anyone's going to beat this. Legit unbeatable. Everyone else is doing, like, GM tasks and shit to get points. Meanwhile, I'm just going to be doing this. The thing is, like, other people can't just copy me because, like, bro, like, 100 11 world is not for sale like it, it's fucked there's like four different clans there they all don't want each other to win meanwhile the 91 bracket is just chill p piss easy maybe there's gonna be like one team of random uh group of uh people that might come and kill me but they're gonna leave me alone after because they don't really care if who gets rank one the people in 111 all care because 24 of the top 25 are in the 111 bracket so we're chilling out in here bro we're chilling that's my first scorpio start has done i'm gonna have to figure out how banking is gonna work because my other accounts are gonna be low on sort of a uh, cast now so it's gonna be a little interesting i need to figure this out i think not getting caught together was a very very important so i'm gonna move my other two accounts to a different world and then we're gonna hop back into the same world at different times i think that way nobody really connect these accounts with my account 90 hit points 1200 scorpio kc all right that is a 1400 scorpio kills all right and this is 1500 kc sizzle as well at the same time 2000 scorpia kills bro this is so fast i completely blanked out of the milestone 2100 scorpia kc 2200 kc all right and this should be a 2300 scorp kc points looking pretty good all right i just died on my two alts my account's logged out bro i wasn't recording i am so sad I'm so sad I wasn't recording. I need to scout out, scout my way out of here at Scorpia. Um, give me a second. You'll see what you'll see when I log in. What I'm talking about. I'm logging in. Uh, trade me, trade me, trade me. That was close. I wish you guys had seen that, bro. I got into the axe hut with like 20 HP left. I couldn't log out because the axes were super aggressive. And then there's a guy waiting outside. Everyone else left. I guess they were banking for a lock pick. Uh, there was one bolter left. I had 11 HP. No, I had like 15 HP. I was like, fuck it. I think I can tank this guy if I pay range. Uh, cause he was in really shit gear. So I go out, pray range, flick the heart prey, and then catch a freeze on him and DD and log out. And I, bro, I, my heart was racing and I can't believe none of that was captured. That's probably the most sad part that none of it was captured. My ults got fucked, fucked though. Like those guys died, but I survived with my GA, my cult and my other stuff. All right, that is 2,400 kill count. The breach is in 12 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for that now. 2,500 Scorpia KC. Points looking good. Almost 130K. And that is 2,700 Scorpia kills. And that's 2,800 kill count at Scorpia. 2,900 Scorpia KC. Oh, I'm dying, people. Oh, this meticulous mage is healing me. They're gonna come back with a lockpick. Get out of here, quick. God damn it. I logged out. <laughs> Oof. I mean, my ults died, but it is what it is. Oh, my, my fucking, uh, ha, one of my accounts died to a PVM death. What the fuck? These guys are do dog shits. All right, we made out of there. Fuck me. 3,000 Scorpia kills. 
How many punts am I at now? Yeah, 138, 402. I'm so fucking fried. <laughs> I've done so much Scorpio in a row. I'm, I'm not even clicking on my ult. There we go. Man, it, it is... It is mentally exhausting when you do the same thing over and over. Even if it's brain dead, it gets it gets tiresome. 3600 Scorpio KC. Dude, both of my other accounts, hold on, let me, I actually have to show this, I don't even want to say it. Both of my other accounts, look at this. First account, look at, what's in my inventory? Trident, <laughs> bro, PVM death, I didn't lose anything. Other account, PVM death, I didn't lose anything. Those guys literally didn't kill me. They can, both my accounts got away without losing anything. That's so fucking funny. 3900 KC, 93 Slayer, and 1900 total. These Slayer levels have definitely added up over time. And the best part is, it's essentially zero time for all of them because Scorpio is something I was going to do anyway. Very, very cool. That's 4,000 Scorpio kills. I could it to be, not gonna lie, even with the sigils. I guess I didn't come with the, the right gear or whatever, but that uh, was a bit close for comfort. But this should be some of the elves done in a second. Okay, so I should have XP on for this. I will get the quest completion in a second, and this gives a lot of XP. Let me go ahead and wait for the XP drops as soon as I finish this dialogue. Look at that, four quest points, 400,000 XP, and like a billion different skill. What is this? Oh my god, I just, I'm just getting so many level ups. I couldn't even move. 84 uh, construction, 79 farming, 76 herbivore, 74 hunter, 95 mining, 88 smithing, 78 wood cutting, 1938 total now. How many points did I jump up from all those levels? 182, 121. Wow, I just put this offer in in the GE and I did not expect it to insta buy. I guess somebody's just making a fuck ton of dart tips for money or something. All right, this is going to be a lot of money, but this is how many dart tips I need for 99 fletching. Oh, 40 mil. Okay, they're buying. I think I hit the limit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit the limit of like 20k or something because they stopped buying around like a pretty clean number but that should be 99 fletching dealt with and i should be able to sell a decent bit of it back for an okay a bit of money all right i'm gonna go ahead and train my thieving up i'm 67 thieving this should be extremely extremely fast with uh, minified thugs and 10 xp so good to do it just look at my chat box these levels are so fast 70 thieving already all right 80 farming i'm trying to keep up with my farm runs i'm doing a magics and palm seeds which is like the best seed i could realistically spam i don't think dragon fruits are going to be very accessible so farming is going to be as fast as it can be for now 80 thieving 4100 scorpio kc 4200 scorpio kc all right that is actually 50 wilderness slayer task complete which is a big point boost as well 375 points which is very nice because that gives me free liberty to pretty much skip whatever task i do or don't want to do for the rest of dmm i'm also going to bank right now just so i can get another task actually there's a breach in 40 minutes i don't know maybe i'll get another task maybe i won't either way yeah i don't have to worry about slayer points anymore all right, that was a lot harder than I expected it to be. Not gonna lie, even with the sigils, I guess I didn't come with the, the right gear or whatever, but that uh, was a bit close for comfort. But this should be some of the elves done in a second. 80 thieving. Okay, breach time. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have teammates for multi, so it's gonna be very interesting, but I'm 184,569 points. Not looking too good. I think a lot of people that I was uh, using for protection are moved up to the next bracket now, so it's gonna be very, very, very scary. It's gonna be a lot of hope gonna attack for it. Look at the white dots, bro. Like, I'm completely random here i'm totally alone in a big group of white dots and i don't know what's going on i'm not being attacked I think they're all just random people very scary this was a very interesting boot just completely alone but no one's going no one's fighting a few people attacked me and then he just got off i think they were just like afk checking me i think if i was paying attention i guess i don't know this has been pretty nice i can't wait to check the points all right we out holy bro okay i had 184,569 points now i have 189,840 points okay okay that's 5,300 points with the hop and the no real team not bad i will happily take that pretty good okay so i've unlocked prift a while ago but i never actually did the gauntlet so let me go ahead and check what tasks there are to do here obviously the first kill gives a decent bit of points i believe there's different points for the 
uh, regular boss and the corrupt versions. There's actually a lot of CAs to be done here. I believe it's only worth doing CAs if I you do the whole set. So for example, if I want to do Crystal and Hanlef, I have to do every single CA here for it to be like efficient because you get like a little bonus at the end of completing a boss. I think this is going to be the hardest part, which is completing the gauntlet 50 times. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do this and try to complete all the tasks in that 50 KC. All right, this is a little scary because I'm taking my GA off and I have quite the risk. I believe my G has even more stuff stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and like try to make myself tanky for a second i'm probably gonna change this around depending on which ca i do but i think for the majority i'm gonna be doing titanium menacing mage and precision i've been told if i five to one with mage it's quite broken uh mainly because i can just sustain off the menacing mage procs alone and since it's so accurate along with the titanium you pretty much don't really use any supplies so try this out i have to do one normal cg i'm pretty sure it's a task to not make any potions so i'm just gonna do that right now I completely forgot how to do this boss not gonna lie uh what is that speed chaser defense doesn't matter like three cases right there i jumped to like 600 points holy crap i just got a weapon see oh yeah those are worthless all right this is hopefully a bunch of cas completed we got the god speed chaser defense doesn't matter and died again how many points damn like 800 points holy crap jesus it's broken oh damn the speed run was six minutes 30 seconds i missed it by 12 seconds i'm oh, sure i got an armor seed that's pretty cool all right that should definitely be the speed task four minutes and 40 seconds damn all right how many points am i at now 194,000. Very cool. I'd be shocked if that's not the speed run. Oh my, well, that's a lot of tasks. 3 minutes 27 seconds. Man, these points are coming in quick. How close am I to the CA diary? Six points away. So, like, one more task and I get, uh, what is it? I think hard complete? Anyway, there is a task to get uh, tier 3 armor, and normally it, it's supposed to be tight with the time constraint or whatever, but because you have enhanced harvest, you literally just pick one plant and get five extra resources. So, if I click on this, full tier 3 requirement right there in one rock. Easy. It does not seem to work for cotton though, which is kind of unfortunate. Dude, the enhanced harvest disappeared again. Like, I don't know why it's, it's like bugged. I swear to God, I'm only getting one resource per now. So confused. Yeah, it legit just bugs out. Like, it's in my inventory attuned. I don't know why it's bugging out, but it's making it annoying as fuck. Okay, hard here completed. How many points did I just jump up? I have no idea what I was at, but I'm pretty sure I got a decent bit because now I can claim a lamp as well because I have hard diaries done. All right, and that is another task done. The only tasks that I have left now are the KC tasks, and I'm really debating whether or not it's worth doing. You get like a huge buff when you complete like all the tasks the boss has. So like, if you go to Hunlet for now, if I was to finish this and this, I would give me a buff. This one is 20 KC, which I'm currently 3 plus 11 on, so 14 KC on. The other one is 50 KC. So I really don't know if it's really worth it. Look how many points it is. Okay, so her Corrupted Hunlet gives 614. Regular Hunlet gives 435. So if I do 13, 7 more KC, I get 435. 35 points plus the base KC. The next Hunlef KCs are worth 87 points per, which is pretty worth it because let's say I could kill, I could definitely kill like 10 an hour. That's like almost a thousand points an hour. I think that's worth it. However, the 50 task gives 614. And that would take like three hours, which makes it like 454 points an hour. Okay, I'm going to get seven more KC and then I'm going to stop and leave uh, this boss. I'm going to complete the Crystal and Hunlef 20 KC task. All right, this should be kill count number 20 in total. And that is a uh, master task complete. Complete, and that should be the set complete as well. 195,635. Is that right? I think that's right. Nah, that's a decent bit of points I just jumped up. Very cool. Very cool. I'm done with CG for now. I'm going to do one Zolcano KC while I'm here as well. And that should be all I need from Prif for now. Right, apparently, it takes a long time to solo. So I never, I've never soloed Zolcano before. So I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just one taking some stamina before all this breach comes up. And that should be AD Herblore. Pretty cool. Herblore is extremely fast this way, but it is also very, very expensive and very annoying. All right, the next breach is in four minutes i'm completely solo i'm gonna run it to multi and hope the same thing happens that last time 195,655 points i'm praying i get some dps in and there's no like team running around clearing shit i have this scorpio alt scouting the other two worlds so i should be able to determine which spot is the safest for me to go to all right so we risky play i'm on 406 might regret this instantly northwest lava dragon isle there's singles to the southwest if i could take it that far no one's gold here so far so it's good a okay, singles right here in the corner so it's not too bad but i just said 99 strength just a second ago as well we're going to attack i can get up to 80 attack with this build Dude, there's no one sculling this is so nice the real staff oh my god the feral fight is going crazy bro we got like 50 procs in a row Oh, this is a nice one, Breach. This is a nice Breach, bro. The Breach ended. We lost NBC. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, that was so nice. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I felt like I did so much damage at Breach. I felt like my Feral Fighter was going insane. Alright, so I was 195,655 points. I am now... <laughs> 
Bro, that's a big gain. Holy, let me, let me do the math. Two zero three five one four minus one nine five six five five. I just got 7,859 points. Oh, it's so over. It is so over for these noobs. Bro, I just, I'm gonna win. I'm 100% gonna win. It, it's over. This bracket's broken. It's just literally random noobs in this bracket. Completely solo. All of them are solo and they're just PVMing. Meanwhile, every other bracket is a cesspool. This is a golden gem. The best part is, by the time I upload this video, it won't be the same anymore. It will not be the case, and uh, I won't have to worry about getting fucked up here and getting getting crowded here. Alright, so it turns out I could actually do all the wilderness diaries, like literally all of them, up to elite if I use the exaggeration relic. Which is really, really nice, because one of the rewards is that you get to redirect the obelisk, and that makes getting to Scorpio a lot easier. Alright, will the easy complete? Alright, that's medium diaries complete. This will be interesting. An abyssal dagger? All right, making sure to do this in multi so nobody cries about boxing. But here is the final one. Put on the staff here. I cast this, and this should be as soon as I hit. Yep, hard task complete. All hards done now. All right, I just claimed all my rewards, and now I have all these lamps. Let me go ahead and dump these all on rune crafting. I'm 69 rune crafting, 695k XP to start. Let's see how much I can go up to. Lamp two, three, take all at once. We are now 76 rune crafting. Again, not a single rune was crafted other than diaries. So the fact that I'm already 76 is pretty cool. Man, I don't know why I have a bad feeling about this breach. It's 3 p.m. prime time. Lots of shit's going on. Clans are gonna be on. Um, I don't have anyone to go with, really. A lot of people in the world. Well, relatively for being planning on going on multi alone. Whew. Six minutes. Let's see our starting points. Uh, I'm just AF King until then. 206,248. North of Chaos Temple. This is doable. It's not too far from single. Like nobody here right now. So these guys don't scroll up. Nice is it's super close to a bank, so I could just uh, focus DPS. And if I need to bank, I could bank. Don't scroll yet. I do see a couple of ancient staffs. So I'll keep an eye out for those. Oh, there's a skull there. He's like solo. The only person scrolling. Oh, there's a couple of scrollers here. Uh, demonic Ruins on 401. Ties from the other one. We first get Demonic Ruins. I don't know. Maybe we go back here. Hope they leave. They're not that many PKs. That'd be a bad idea, but hello. You know skulls yet. I think I hugged the southwest side because I actually have a shortcut to get out at Lava Maze. Uh, there's a skull guy there. This is the only one. The bank. I'm like low info already. This is not a great breach. Many PKs around. Maybe I go back Chaos Temple. But I don't know. There's only two skulls here. I can go back here actually. PKs will have to bank themselves. They already have keys. Uh, that's a clan. Guys running towards me. Yeah. Among his friends. This is annoying. Maybe I shouldn't be this far out with zero food with a team that I literally just joined three seconds ago by joining their CC because uh, I was already ranked. I don't know. Maybe this is a very dumb play to stay here. All right, 212,000 points. All things considered, that was would have been a lot worse if I had died there and I had not joined CC. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Dude, I'm in shock that that worked, not gonna lie. 5,761 points. Okay, I'll happily take that, bro. I'll happily take that. Could've got another extra, like, a thousand or two if I wasn't being attacked. But, bro, like, that's the best situation out of a burst situation. So, we are happy with that. And that is 4,700 Scorpio kill count. 4,800 KC. I'm having so much fun. All right, that is 4,900 kill count. One more to 5,000. Bro, oh, these servers are so dog shit. If I lose my GA, it's gonna be very, very sad. Yep, I died. If I lose my GA. That's so cringe, bro. All right, the next breach is in four minutes. We're starting at 215,817 points. Maybe a couple more because I train fletching and get levels really quickly with Addy Darts. But yeah, same setup as last time. This time, I am gonna be utilizing the open CC and seeing if it's any better but last time we got really a sketch with those people attacking me we will see what happens i'm also gonna go with lance too hopefully we both end up having a good trip and not both dying Are you fletching while waiting we already frozen there No, I just made it to single. So sad. Damn, we're multi-ZNFS now on here.
This is like a last ditch effort for points. I literally bought another GA. I have nothing with me really. And I'm gonna go into multi and see how this goes. I don't really see people scold here. I also don't have mage, it just kind of aids. This is so bad in comparison. The Vanos is a safe spot over there. So I get some free DPS on this little thing, bro. This is so scuffed. I think that's the breach, bro. That was terrible. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was the worst breach I've done in a while. Oh, I lost a decent bit. 218. 2425 points that is horrendous oh well what can you do i'm just working on golden nuggets for the Fally hard diary and i just got 97 mining all right well that is another ga down good fight just inside myself cave kraken i got 113 of them which is plenty but that is going to be enough to get the 100 kc that i want to get from there and also complete the cas i think i think you can't do all the cas there's something you have to do in a private instance and for that the only thing you can really do is just um skip them and you still get the bonus for completing all the other ones this boss cave itself is multi but right there is single and as long as i survive with this p-neck and brew combo setup i should be okay oh wait Damn, all the instance tasks that you can't do because they're not unlocked just auto complete. So I just got a bunch of points under that. That's actually really, really nice. What the hell? Holy crap. Like 400 points right there. I didn't know that actually. I might have a couple more of those to claim. I right, just finished the last CA task, which means I jumped a bit of points. Uh, every cracky kill is also giving me 15 points as well. So I should get over 220k points by the end of this task. Uh, 50 cracking KC, 50 more to go, and I'm done with this. All right, that is 97 Slayer. Two more levels to go for 99. And I didn't realize I had 2,000 total earlier but now i'm 2001 all right that is 100 cracking kc i'm gonna go ahead and just finish off this task there's only 13 left i might as well just for convenience sake and then i'm gonna do the next activity Okay, got out. So it's the same finish clan over and over that keeps attacking me. I got on, on all three accounts. Two ults logged out as well. Very nice. But this is a late AM breach. Um, I really don't know where to go, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be in 406, and then I have two ults scouting like always. I'm bringing a different setup. It is gonna be very interesting whether or not this does anything good, but we'll see. I don't have a chain mace this time around because I died for a line and I can't seem to rebuy it. I can run a bank mage. This is like a true melee setup. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be good, but I'm gonna trust. This is what Wolfie is doing and he seems to get a lot of points of uh, breach so i'm gonna try it it's a pretty raggy setup as well the only thing is he runs consistency and i'm not able to run consistency my bank is way too valuable i'm not risking all that i just walked out and got consistency out i'm risking all my gear I'm like 35 mil in my bank so gl i have no ga 221 7 7 i'm actually gonna go to a different spot real quick i'm gonna go to lumber swamp lumber swamp and 401 is also a breach but a water talisman with me in case i need to escape i'm gonna tell this way less people here it's a good move okay wolfie might have been on to something with consistency I need to get some idiot attack. I'm gonna put on an attack mode. I mean, on attack. I'm on attack level for like 10 seconds. I wonder if I can queue up feral fighter procs on these. I don't think I can. Hopping worlds is a good idea. Worlds is just two pack. The breach is done. Um, 22, 221, 700, I think, was the starting. And now it ends 225, 700. So 4,000 points. Not terrible for single breaches. I actually like that a lot. That is definitely the best single breach I've ever had. And it was a little scary not having GA, but with this setup and bringing a talisman with me to this spot and then also having the opportunity to dig at barrels like these were two relatively safe spots 90 farming definitely not going to be an issue making this done in time all right i think i should be able to claim the hard diary reward now yeah please okay let me go inside so safe zone i don't know how much this lamp gives but we'll go ahead and see 1.45 mil 150k xp not bad 77 in crafting damn i need 485 points for the next one that's probably gonna be the last one i get on this uh well the next one will probably be the last one i get all right breached them again i'm risking quite a bit in g offers i have a bunch of shit in here definitely not gonna take my g off I, it would be really stupid if i did so i have to go with a budget build which is real fighter consistency if i want to do singles i might go to multi again depending on the location i have to discuss suss that out but so far this is what it looks like i'm going to be going in this is not going to be the best points per hour but i just need something consistent in points that will i don't know get me through for now uh, let me check the world pop up it updates when you go here 161 284 274 not too bad not too bad 226825 starting all right I'm, I'm insane i'm actually insane this is like 200 mil risk we're actually insane but three ma one bosses in a row me too that was pretty bad i will not lie um let me see i was 226829 or something and now i am 2285 wow it's actually really depressing 1700 point breach all right so 
obviously, uh, if you've been paying attention to the high scores, I haven't really mentioned the high scores yet. I have been uh, competing pretty much against Solo Mission only at this point. Like, he's the only other person that's even competitive at this point. Uh, everyone else is nowhere near, like, uh, us in points. Before the breach, I was 5,000 points away, and I was very worried that after getting 1,500 points, I would be farther behind now. But, turns out, Ditter managed to kill Solo in the same breach I got really bad points in, and we ended up getting around the same amount of points. So, we're, uh, we're okay. We are still a 5,000 point difference. Alright, my recorder was not on, but uh, as you can see, a uh, very tragic series of events just occurred. There's like nine people. There was no chance of escaping. So, um, yeah, on to the next activity. Okay, so I'm about to do something relatively scary, mainly because it's multi and I'm risking a decent bit. I'm going to try to solo the Corp Beast, and I'm going to do that by lowering its defense first, and then getting spec, which will be interesting because even I, I didn't upgrade this the reason i didn't upgrade this even though i can make it is because it doesn't really work like if i'm in combat if the corp beast even touches me i can't use it for three minutes it's kind of useless but i think the narda teleport narda statue might work i might well give it a try we'll see how this goes okay why is there just like a team there, bro? Well, Corpus is out of the option. He's on my sat warhammer. What the fuck? That's so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying, bro. That is so annoying. I just geared up and everything. I'm going to wait a bit before I do Corp. I am going to do Nightmare, though, which is going to be how many points? Let me see. Boss points. See what's on here. 18 points for the Nightmare, and then 30 for Sunny. I'm going to do one KC in each. Should be worth it. Should be a decent chunk of points. The normal one is going to take a while because it has a lot more HP. It's skilled for five man. However, I think I'll be okay with these relics. I don't remember, haven't done it in a long time, but I think I'll be all right. I have Ninja and Feral Fighter, so I'll be attacking very, very fast. And I think Scythe on Crush should be accurate enough, at least as so well I remember. So we'll see how this goes. I also don't have Mage, but that's just because I'm relying on my fast Scythe being able to kill the pillars. YOLO. Why does this take 20 seconds? What the hell? I'm going to that. Uh, is Feral Fighter not going to proc because these are not considered real hits? Oh no. I haven't seen a Feral Fighter proc. <laughs> I don't think Feral Oh, there it is. It just got unlucky. All right, not going to lie, the DP DPS is so low that I don't have the prayer for it. I need to bring more prayer. I also swapped out Ninja for Precision. I think Pro Fighter only procs on hits you actually do. And it's either Precision or Consistency. And I think Precision is accurate enough where it'll hit enough for me to just prefer to use it for Consistency. All right, it's only been a few seconds. I can tell this is infinitely better than what I was in before. Precision was very much needed. All right, this was a very, very long encounter, but I believe we're done here now. All right, damn, that was long. How long was it? Oh, I got a lot of tasks though. 1840, 1832, fresh that. Decent fucking bit of points. I did not mean to wake him up. Let's take these Sanfi serums and get out of here for now. We gotta rebank and uh, get ready to do Fasani's. Alright, the only time I've ever killed Fasani's ever in my life was on leagues. So, uh, this will be quite interesting. Alright, our boy Fasani. I don't know how to do this boss. We're gonna see how it goes. At least he respawns quicker. Yeah, I'm gonna Aussie roll. This is not great. I feel a ping. Fine for normal nightmare. Now it's not fine for this. Bro, the lag is so unbearable. Like, I can't do it. I have to escape. I'm definitely clicking away from those shadows in time. It's just, I'm gonna Aussie roll. I mean, I died at the last phase. I just got hit by Shadow and then fucking... Ah, oh, it's a GA down, bro. Fuck me. So sad. And 25 HP as well. I'm doing a CM real quick with Lance. It's going to give me a fuck ton of points. Not going to lie, he's going to carry the absolute hell out of me. He's very, very good at them. And I have never done a CM outside of bigs. So we'll see how this goes. Master task complete. Nice, nice. Wasn't even expecting to do that one. Yep, yep. The Lance carry. Playing with lasers. Another <laughs> master task. He was so dog. Nice. Oh, two tasks right there. Two elites. Cry no more and Blizzard Dodger. Asian specialist. Another master. No, another elite. Bro, this is actually so many points. Holy crap. And then there's the points for ending as well bro all of this was like always there to claim and i just never did it i go to the next breach with immunity after getting these uh things like legit like <sighs> fucking crazy jump oh oh shit i didn't expect to do that bro okay, i don't know if i picked up everything because my grandma goes on but i think that's everything so low i don't have the marker oh i don't have the tiles anymore it's it's already started you used to it right here yeah i literally turned off all my plugins because i didn't know what was crashing it so redemption enthusiast nice 230 000 points you know how bad tebow is if it still misses with this another task bro elite I've gotten 700 points without even, no, 600, no, 700 points without even doing the raid. All right, first chamber is CM. What? What'd you say? Ooh, we got a prayer scroll? What is it? Why does it not show my chat box if we got a prayer scroll? Look, you, look, you see my screen, right? Like, I, I just don't see it. I can't see it. I can't see because of the fucking CAs, bro. That is actually sick, bro. That's actually sick. Bro, I got Dust Seeker, Immortal Raid Team, Undying Raid Team. Bro, I'm at 234,000 points. I think if I log, I, yeah, I'm rank, I'm rank one if I log. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!